guys. So, as most of you guys will know, I have dyed my hair from blonde to brown. For those of you guys that are new, my hair used to be blonde and I recently just dyed it myself. I dyed it to this lovely brown colour that I'm absolutely living for. I filmed it, so I wanted to share with you guys the process, the hair dye I use, how easy it is and how affordable it is because the hair dye I use is super cheap. It's a vegetable dye, so it's super healthy for your hair. And I just wanted to show you guys that it's really easy for you guys to do at home without having to spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money. The way I film this is kind of vlog style so I hope that's okay with you guys. I just kind of wanted to show you real lifestyle how I dyed my hair. I didn't want to make it really fancy. So I hope you guys don't mind. I just thought vlog style would be easier and would just be so much better, I guess, to show you guys the process. Let me know if you do enjoy the vlog style footage. Anyway, before I keep rambling on, if you are interested to see how I got my hair from blonde to this brown colour that I am absolutely living for right now, then just stay tuned and yeah. Just okay guys, that's it. I've decided it. I'm dyeing my hair brown happening bye bye blonde hello brown <laughs> hey guys so i know i said i wasn't gonna do a little fancy schmancy little artsy bit but i just wanted to show you guys what you need so you're gonna need the adore hair dyes in the shade sienna brown and mocha i got mine from like an afro caribbean hair shop but you can probably get them online or on amazon i'm sure you can um you need gloves and a mixing bowl and a mixing brush which i forgot to show you guys so i take half a bottle of sienna brown and a full bottle of mocha and mix them together for my whole head and um, the reason I do that is because Sienna Brown's a little bit more red based so it helps avoid my hair having a green tint when I dye it a darker colour. Um, you always need kind of a red base to avoid that. Just, just FYI. So here is just a slow mo shot of me shampooing my hair because you actually have to wash your hair before using this dye so that it penetrates um, and holds onto your hair a little bit better. Yeah and then once you've done that you've just got to dry it. I dry mine to about at least 80% and then the hair dyeing process begins guys. Guys, I am so freaking nervous right now. <laughs> I've not had brown hair for a hot minute and I'm pretty nervous. As you guys can see, I split my hair into four sections just to make it a little bit easier. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna apply the dye to the ends first that aren't brown all over and then if there is enough dye, I will put it all over my roots. Okay, let's do this. I'm so excited, I'm so nervous, I'm so excited, I'm so nervous. So these four sections, as you guys can see as well, I'll be splitting them into even more smaller sections just to make sure that I'm getting an even application. Let's hope I'm getting an even application. <laughs> right, got me clip. Let's do this. Not really sure what I'm doing to be honest. I'm not professional, but not professional. Let's do it. I think I'm just gonna use the brush to paint the dye on. This seems like the long route because I'm a lazy mofo. This is it, I've started it now, so I've got to do it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh my God, please let there be enough hair dye for my hair, imagine. I've got an event to go to tomorrow. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I don't know why I'm acting like I think this video is a vlog as well. That ain't cool, bro. I feel like my tracksuit bottoms need to come off, but I'm also in too deep to do that. I don't really know what to do right now, but I really don't want to get any hair dye on my tracksuit bottoms, so. I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. That's so weird to me, but I'm so, so excited. Oh my God. I cannot wait to have brown hair. It will be all one color uniform. Okay, well, probably not one color, but it be more uniform and just pretty nice. Bye, blonde. See you never. Sorry, not sorry. Kind of miss you already, but it's over. <laughs> So I'm just using my fingers to like massage the dye in as well just to try and make sure it's evenly spread and I'm kind of going to use them to get the, these pieces because I don't think I can really reach that ish with the brush, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what this accent is that I keep coming out with. Oh my god, I think I already love it. Like, yes, queen! I really hope I'm getting all the strands. I mean, I guess if there's a little bit of blonde in there, it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, it already looks longer just because it's all one colour, it doesn't like cut off. <gasps> this is crazy! I'm gonna stop talking now and just get to it. So I'll see you guys when the dye is everywhere. Mm, shit, I just got it on the bathroom carpet mat, whatever you call it. Bathroom mat, not bathroom carpet.
so far I'm loving it. It's just, it looks really clean and one and like natural and nice. So once I've painted it on with the brush, I just, I'm just massaging it through with my fingers just to make sure I've got like a pretty full coverage of all of the hair. I really don't want it to be patchy. To be honest, I'm not a professional, I have no idea what I'm doing, so it probably will be patchy, but it's okay. It's better than it being like pretty much black than blonde. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, so that's one whole side done. I just got this front portion to do, and then I'm probably gonna go over it one more time, and then I'm gonna let it sit. I can't even remember how long I've been let it sit for. I feel like it's about half an hour, but I, I just leave it for ages. I really love this hair dye because it's a vegetable dye. I used to use this when I was a lot younger and I always feel like it leaves my hair in better condition than when I started. It just really moisturizes my hair and leaves it super soft. So I like to leave it on. They even have a clear no color color if that makes sense. So I feel like it is actually recognized as a conditioning treatment as well. So I'm just going to finish off my head and then we're going to let it sit. That's so weird how my hair just like blends into my top now. <laughs> that is that. I think I've covered the entirety of my hair. <laughs> it's crazy, it's so dark. I am just going to put it up in a bun. Oh my god, I already love it. It's so much better. Yeah, so I'm just going to put it up in a bun for now and let it sit for probably about an hour. I used up pretty much that entire bottle and a half, but I had loads, well, I had quite a bit to spare, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of go over parts of my hair just to make sure everything's really fully and evenly coated. Oh god, I feel like I'm making such a mess. I'm going to wash up because I've made an absolute mess. My mom's gonna kill me. And I'm gonna clean up my face as well because, I mean, look at the mess that I'm in right now. So, see you guys in like an hour. <laughs> Just using some of this stuff to try and get rid of the dye on my neck. Oh, it's actually working. I took the one with the oil, the oil infused micellar water and it's not doing a bad job at all if I'm honest with ya oh crap it's on my face hopefully it comes off because I don't want to wear foundation tomorrow when I go out oh yeah I can't forget my ears there is dye all over these puppies did I just call my ears puppies? Whoa. all over my arms <sighs> okay I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> Hey guys, so I totally just realized that I forgot to show you guys my hair after dyeing it in the daylight, but there's still some left. So as you guys can see, in my room it looks super dark, it's like almost black, but in actual daylight, you can see that my roots are actually darker than the color, and it's kind of like a reddish brown, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it complements me so much more than just um, the blonde, and I love it. So. That's it. This is what it looks like. So guys, that is how I went from blonde to brown. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that maybe it helped you out and kind of made you realize that dyeing your hair can be pretty easy and there are really good hair dyes out there that are super affordable and that can actually nourish your hair instead of completely destroying your hair. So that's it really. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the next one. Okay, until next time. Bye. Mwah.